Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, traders and investors. This is Alex from MarketWise Asia. Okay, so uh, Denise Wong. Okay, hi, Dad. Good night. Okay, this is my daughter. Good night, Jenny. See you later. Okay, so I think Facebook might have issue. Okay, how, how many of you here are on YouTube? Okay, I think uh, today very little people. I think quite a number of them go to uh, Facebook. Okay. So if you are on YouTube, can you say a uh, hi to me in the comment? Just say a uh, hi. Okay, you guys should be on YouTube because I am not sure why today. Okay, the Facebook live stream just doesn't broadcast. Yeah, I think there's some issue. Let me try to. You guys can just give me a while first. Okay, I let me message the in the comment on the YouTube. In the uh, Facebook live stream, as in the comments, ah, uh, you just give me a moment first, ah, uh. okay, just give me a moment. This is annoying, okay. Let me just post it on here. Facebook has issue. Please use YouTube. Okay. All right, so thank you so much for being here on time. Okay, it is uh, not can't log to Facebook, uh, uh, William. It is just Facebook just doesn't stream. Okay, even though the uh, live stream is this there. Okay, yeah, Facebook got issue. Last week also got issue, right? Halfway through, I think many of you, you know, just say you, you guys can't connect to uh, Facebook, right? Okay, so hello, um, Hadley, Brandon, WB, Weilun. Okay, Brandon, Richard, William, Mark, Chiu Chuan. Soon great, Mary, Dave, okay. Uh, yeah, last week, Joe, hey, last week we got issue, okay. So, okay, give me a like, okay. Uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I don't know how many of you here will be on uh, YouTube because lesser people today, uh, less than about, maybe about, uh, not right now only about 80, 90 people pass. I think more people are streaming in, okay. More, more people are streaming in, okay. Okay, so, let me just uh, kickstart this uh, session right now. Let me share my screen. Okay, let me change it to another one. Okay, so you guys can see the screen, right? Hello, Pei Wen. Hello, Kelvin. Okay, so as usual, first, a disclaimer. What I share today is just for education purpose, not a recommendation to tell you what to buy or what to sell. So please do your own due diligence. Uh, hello, Poking. Okay, good to see you. All right, so let's kick start. So these are the various Telegram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, my social media, you know, platform. Please like, follow, and subscribe if you can, okay? If possible, everything. <laughs> okay, all right, if you're watching this on YouTube, right, because Facebook has issue, okay, please take the chance to like, follow, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello, Tian Ling, hello, Vince. Okay, so that's it, okay? And let's go to the economic data for this coming week. Actually, this week, there's a lot of things happening um, big for the economic data. And also, there's a lot of events that's coming up as well. So let's head over to the Forex Factory right now. Okay, let's head over to Forex Factory. Okay, so if you guys can't see, uh, not issue. Okay, just follow me to my uh, speech over there. Okay, so today, nothing. Tuesday, tomorrow, CPI data. CPI, once again, you know, uh, uh, you know, the market can use it as a reason, okay, to move the market for, uh, for this time round. Okay, so the previous time, okay, year on year is 3.1. So they're expecting, okay, no change in the year on year CPI at 3.1%. Okay, then, then Wednesday, this 10-year bond, I think nothing much, lah, okay. Then Thursday, there's this uh, PPI, okay, unemployment claim. And also with retail sales, okay. And then on Friday, okay, there is this consumer sentiment and also the uh, uh manufacturing index, okay. All right, so these are the key things that you need to take note of. And let me go through. And besides that, right, okay, just to uh let you know, okay, the CPI data for this coming week is on Tuesday, right? So as I mentioned, right, depending on whether the CPI is in line with okay or below expectation, okay. The market can use it as a reason, okay, to affect the market sentiment and also the movement, okay, and also not forgetting that, okay, this coming Friday 
it is actually the uh, OPEX, okay, options expiry, okay, this coming Friday. So I said a lot of times already, okay, uh, because, you know, uh, due to the uh, market makers are hedging, you know, typically, but not always, I repeat, typically, but not always, the market tends to, a lot of time, tends to go higher just before the OPEX, okay, and on OPEX day itself on Friday, okay, it tends to be a, a weaker, okay, and this time around, okay, in March, this is the quarterly, quarterly OPEX expi expiry, okay, uh, QUA, QUAR quarterly, yeah. and some people call it uh, quadruple witching. Last time it used to be quadruple, but now I think it is only triple, okay, triple witching, which all the stocks, uh, indices, futures, where all this expire on the same date on this coming Friday. And of course, you know, uh, the standard, OPEX expiry, okay, uh, always have a large number, okay, that's increased uh, volatility and trading volume in the, in the market because, you know, market makers, traders, investors, they all try to adjust or close their position. So for those who don't know, I do have this, uh, not, not, it's not my, like, okay, I just shorten it, this uh, OPEX expiry calendar over there. I'll post it in the uh, comments. Let me take a look at the... Yeah, okay, can okay. All right, so this is the OPEX. So as mentioned, Friday, this is the 15th. Okay, it is the OPEX expiry. I think Henry, I'm not sure whether Henry is here now. He asked me in the seasonal advantage uh, member side, right? How about the, you know, the uh, end of the month options expiry and also the, uh, yeah, there's also 29 is the VIX expiry. Is that the No, no, this is the end of the month options expiry. Okay, so typically, okay, the standard standard contracts are still has the largest volume. End of the month, it still have volume, but not as much as the standard expiry, the third Friday of the month. Okay, this on 15th of March. So these are the major, major uh, options expiry. Yeah? Okay, clear so far? If so far everything clear, just type. Okay, okay in the comments. Getting a little bit quiet in the uh, live stream. So I think today only like uh youtube right today only youtube right just a quick show of hand right so far the facebook still got issue right got issue or not facebook can you guys see the live stream on facebook yeah i see uh i see uh eh, okay uh, facebook, facebook is working now uh. <laughs> okay 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 so let me let me take a look at the uh facebook uh oh, this is uh weird okay let me let me copy the link and post it on Insta, uh, not Instagram, Telegram channel. If you guys still want to watch on Facebook, here's the link. Okay. Okay, fantastic. It is back up. So recently, <laughs> no wonder, no wonder, you know, the live stream got some issue lah, because, you know, today Meta dropped quite a bit, right? Is it Meta dropped quite a bit? Yeah, today Meta dropped four point five five percent, so it makes the live stream okay. Facebook Live also a bit you no know, uh, weird, huh? Okay, okay. Anyway, yeah, and also, also, right? Okay, besides OPEX, uh, okay, this thing uh, called the Nvidia. Okay, I know this is the darling of the stock market right now. AI, 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 everything AI. You know, the market just went out. Okay, but just to let you know, this eighteen of March, that is uh next Monday. That is straight after the options expiry. Nvidia is holding this conference. They call it the Nvidia GTC, which in short stands for GPU uh, Technology Conference for the GTC. La. So this conference, okay, they're gonna bring a lot of developers, engineers, uh, researchers, everything now, okay, all the professionals who learn how to use AI, harness the power of AI, you know, computer science, data science, okay. The key thing is okay, this GTC also promote Nvidia hardware. For the AI world, which means okay, there could be a new product launch, okay, during this uh Nvidia GTC event, okay, and the reason why is because okay, uh, this is uh right now Nvidia is closely watched by you know by everybody, okay, and whether they have new product that's coming up, okay, it is you know could drive the company stocks, okay, up affecting the uh broader tech sector, and sentiment. So in short, in short, okay, um. Uh, because everybody is watching NVIDIA, 
this event could also potentially uh, move the market, especially if they have, you know, something that's exciting, uh, you know, something that's wow, okay, that can wow the public on uh, regarding the AI product. Huh? Okay, all right. And not to forget also, a lot of, lot of, lot of events, huh? okay. Uh, FOMC meeting and uh, VIX expiration. Huh? So FOMC, okay, let me just go through this thing, okay. I mentioned a lot of time also, this is the uh, short, this is the uh, short link over here. I post the link in the comments. Huh? Okay, so nothing much, okay. Expected, I'm just gonna share with you, show you guys, huh? that's all happened on the uh, nine more days, 20th. Huh? So 20th of March, okay. It is near to 100% chance, 97% chance that the Fed will keep the interest rate remains unchanged. Okay, right now it is 525 five to 5.5%, unchanged the same, okay. Uh, even for 1st of May, okay, there's a very good chance that right now it's 80% chance that the interest rate will also remain the same. Unless Fed do something different or Jerome power suddenly, you know, say the increase rate this coming uh, March, right, then the market will move a lot, but I uh, highly doubt so long, okay. The, the Fed, Jerome power tends to prep the market pretty well, okay? All right, anyway, if you guys are here from Facebook and YouTube, please give me a like, okay? If you don't like, at least give me a comment also. Like, liking is free, doesn't cost you money, but it allows, you know, uh, YouTube or Facebook algorithm, okay, to do their job. So in the future, you know, you'll post our content onto your Facebook on YouTube feed as well, okay? So please give me a like, share, or comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? And also follow on Facebook if you haven't done so. <clears throat> okay, and uh, yeah, so today you can see that the market actually <clears throat> it is <clears throat> coming down. Uh, uh, the Russell 2000 actually is falling quite hard today, about 0.9%. <clears throat> well, my voice today a bit husky. Uh. Okay, all right, so uh, just to let you guys know, uh, okay, from the data that I have from Sport Gamer, okay, yes, I actually subscribe to Sport Gamer. It is essentially how you guys subscribe to. Uh, <clears throat> Seasonal advantage, okay. Uh, they give us the insights, they give us the data. So I subscribe to Sport Game Month. And in fact, uh, they have a shift uh, from buying call options uh, from SPY uh, to buying puts option uh, okay, among traders. So there is a shift, okay. A lot, not a lot more, uh, okay. There are more, okay, put bias right now, which means that, okay, uh, the, you know, the traders or investor is getting a little bit, you know, uncertain about the market okay or they think that the market might come down soon that's why they are buying insurance for their portfolio which in basic words okay they are buying the SPY S&P 500 uh, put options huh? so you need to be aware of that okay and no change of that okay actually 5001 it is still the uh, key level where there is uh zero gamma I won't repeat that okay so if you don't understand doesn't matter this is where you know the uh Options dealer hedging, okay. They they change from a uh, 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 long, long, uh, long options position to short options position, also, okay. From positive delta, uh, positive gamma to negative, uh, get uh, negative gamma, okay. So 5002, this is the cash index, uh, 5002 is still the upside target, so this is the cash index, okay. So 5002, it is still the eventually uh, upside target, okay. At least right now, okay, if price can go higher, okay, and and okay. Uh, if post FOMC, okay, if the market suddenly, you know, wow, can can rally, you know, higher again, 5,002, uh, okay, this is definitely a, a risk on market back again, uh, okay, but right now, okay, you can see that, right now, can you see this, the S&P 500 cash index, uh, okay, cash index, can you see that it is hovering at the 5,001 level right now, it is trying to stay above the 5,001, so last Tuesday, okay, Price actually broken below 5,001, okay? And then immediately reverse back up again. So right now, it is trying to stay above the 5,001 target. So once again, okay, uh, cut in 5,001, okay? This is the key level that, you know, if we want to have less volatility, okay? And the market to be in a continuously uptrend, okay? Uh, price, it is good to stay above 5,001. So please key in 5,001 in the uh, comments, okay? Oh, Henry, you are here. Just now, do you hear my 
answer to your uh, options question in the members side regarding the uh, standard options expiry and also the M month option expiry. Okay, in case you 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 uh, didn't come here, I just said that you know uh, the standard option expiry, which is the third Friday of the month, okay, is still the largest contract that people you know uh, traded. Okay, end of the month not so still have lah, but you know not as many as the uh, third friday of the month so as much as such right okay this uh triple witching on this coming friday will have the largest impact okay on the uh on the market okay all right so and uh, i'll go through the heat map and such uh later okay so okay just heading back to the okay the key level for the indices let's just go through the key level okay of course, I know that you know, the market seems to be a, a little bit uh, bearish today. But again, okay, I wouldn't want to bet against uh, the OPEX week. Okay, okay uh, hear me out first. Okay, I'm not perpetually bullish. Okay, like in the next few weeks or so. Okay, at least, okay, at least for this coming one week. Okay, this new week, okay, this one week or so, at least until uh, 15th of March. Okay. I am still okay. I'm still bullish, lah, Okay, I'm still bullish for now. Okay, next week, okay, I am more gravitating more towards the uh bearish side. Okay, you guys are clear what I mean, lah. So for this one week or so, okay, I'm still bullish for now. Okay, short term one week, lah, Okay, I wouldn't want to go against the OPEX week. Okay, just type one, ah, this one week, ah. Don't say that, hey, Alex said that, you know, it is going to go higher, okay, uh, for the next few weeks. Now, no, uh, okay, for the next week, I am inclining towards the bearish side, okay, but again, nobody knows what will happen, okay, unless you are stock god, uh, okay, which is J2, uh. <laughs> it's just kidding, okay, so, uh, yeah, personally, okay, I don't know what will happen, but this week, still bullish, next week, bearish sentiment, I see my sentiment, uh, but not so sure what, what, market, what the market will do, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. So uh, if you guys go back to the usual futures uh, chart that I am looking at, okay. Okay. Can you see that ES, S&P 5 futures, uh, it is still holding at the central pivot range. Uh, okay. Still holding well. The NASDAQ, okay. It is at the CPR already. Uh, it actually heated, hit the pivot point okay last week or so okay and uh russell 2000 which is pretty strong it is still holding above the cpr but i wanted to let you guys know that okay uh the dow jones are uh, okay dow jones are uh, okay it is looking not so good okay it is actually okay below the central pivot range already below the cpr last week okay it was trying to stay above the cpr so this is not so good, okay? All right, so this could be a clue. This could be a clue that in the, the market, it is not as strong as uh, before already, uh, which, okay, the Dow Jones is giving us the first clue. But it doesn't mean that the some of the stocks can't go up because Dow Jones, okay, only 30 of the big stocks only, okay? And, and moreover, you can see that, you know, uh, uh, you can see that some of the stocks like uh, Google, okay, Google, all right, so uh, it went down quite a bit previously. Okay, now it's rebounding back up. I I am not too sure whether this is this is going to be a dead cat bounce or not. Okay, and actually, if you look at the two day chart time frame, uh, let me see the two day one. Okay, okay, last week, last week, right? Yeah, last week I I I mentioned. Okay, you guys remember? Okay, uh, I said hey, you know, looking at the two day chart can give you some tools as well so uh google actually soon soon hit the two day chart time frame okay and also the uh you know cpr on the yearly pivot okay and then rebound the back up okay all right so it is still in uptrend but barely barely okay all right anyway anyway yeah so the uh is it is it not meta i forget which which stock already uh what's the stock uh? something can remember anyway anyway i want to go through the end video so today okay uh yeah Initially, it was selling quite heavy, but right now it is positive. Huh? So the market is starting to, to head back up again. Huh? So again, okay, I won't know how the market will pan out for this coming week, but I'm still more gravitating more towards the bullish side. Huh? Okay. 
can okay all right so this is the s and p uh 500 again okay if the s and p 500 futures as i mentioned right uh what's that as in the cash index okay below the 5001 and below the cpr for the cpr on the cash index is 5020 about that for the futures price right it is at about uh five zero or well, five thousand one uh, five thousand one for the futures and uh, five thousand one for the futures so if price goes below the cpr then i will be you know uh more gravitating towards the very side okay that is giving us a clue already huh? so everything clear so far okay okay smci smci okay hot okay yeah again again okay it is recovering today as i mentioned right okay uh the options contract a lot of people are piling onto some of these uh, meme stocks now or these ai stocks okay as i mentioned okay so as more people buy the long call options on nvidia or smci and and some of the other ai so whatever it is okay okay the market maker need to hedge the market maker need to hedge they need to go into the underlying stocks again okay to buy more okay so that's the reason why i can see that you know now this is getting like really really stretched and the market still continue to go high it is actually doing this account of a gamma squeeze okay how long the party will last uh, nobody knows but again a, a big clue can be you know uh, uh, if, if you really want to set the date right uh that will be after the opex uh, after this coming friday uh, where the market makers will start to unwind their position you no know, because they don't hedge really right uh. so if they do need to hedge to buy into all these smci and video store then then they need to sell off all these underlying stocks then that will that might cause the market to come down so we won't know okay i i think i repeat a lot of times really okay okay so uh so smci might continue to go up okay all right 28 march uh still quite a long way left. <laughs> henry okay so we will know so we will see how it goes okay all right so uh there is one gentleman okay one gentleman asked me okay on here okay i'll show you my telegram okay all right he said hey uh alex from uh from chi hao okay can you show how to use the stock market sector heat map to trade to trade the us market on your next weekly up which is today okay uh to be honest uh the heat map it is just for how to say uh information okay i don't really use it to trade okay i will share with you certain places where you can see the heat map okay you can see the heat map okay i know finvis okay they have a heat map it is free as well so we just go over to the map over here okay all right so just click on the finvis map okay i, I really posted the link in the uh comments so uh, i'm going to share with you uh three three sites that have the heat map okay you guys can use whatever it is okay all right so they are almost the same so uh good thing about pinbis that they have this exchange traded funnel so so again you can stop by the one day performance so at a glance at a glance okay you know what uh what is moving okay so of course the because it is a market cap the bigger the square that's the bigger company the market the market cap is bigger can see nvidia microsoft all these are very big companies okay so if you want to see okay what is the like uh within the first uh past one month performance you can see hey for the past one month you can see hey generally everything is going up higher okay of course you can see that you know instantly who are the weaker one apple apple uh, yeah i'm going to show apple okay apple is the weaker one aapl you can see that this is uh aapl aapl huh? okay this is apl it is actually you know below uh not below okay it is below the cloud but it is actually trying to stay above the yearly pivot over there can you see over there this is the the black dotted line over here this is the yearly pivot huh? this is the yearly pivot over there can you see over here this is yearly pivot okay so apple it is a uh, very weak so once again is the market you know telling us the sign that you know um one, one by one okay some of the individual stocks the mega cap are breaking down okay is that a clue again we will know okay right now the market is still hinging on to the ai stocks and all this it is still carrying the whole stock market but a few stocks the big cap stocks are not doing well okay like google and AAP already okay all right so this is the uh fin okay or or three months and you can also go back to the exchange traded fund 
Okay, this is the ETF, so there's a lot you can take a look. So all these are pretty good. Okay, so at one glance, you know what is moving within the past one month, three months, one week daily or so. Okay, this is from Finbis, okay. And then from stock chart, okay, they also have stock chart. They call it the, they call it the carpet. What's the, what's the name? Uh? They call it the market carpet over there. Okay, this is the stock chart. Carpet. Okay, so uh, you can see that there's Alex here. So I, I, I'm inside this account, but you know, uh, I think free account you still can see. Okay, let me just post the link in the comments or can just Google uh, stock chart uh, market cap, market carpet. Okay, let me see. You can see or not based on if you are not logged in. Yeah, okay, you still can see. Okay, you still can see. Okay, so once again, you can see the performance. Okay, and all this. Lah, okay, and uh, the key thing is that you can also view certain of the, uh, you know, uh, sector ETF and such. All right. So you can take over to the sector ETF, for example. All right. Performance wise, you can do a one day change. Okay. Maybe you can say that, hey, for the past uh, three months, which is the uh, best performing sector. So for the best performing sector is actually, you know, uh, financial technology. Hey, financial, not too bad, you see. Yes. Now then, you know, so, so give you some information about the market. You might otherwise uh, don't know about that. Okay. And also you can uh, you can also sort by uh, for example uh, one week okay I don't you know okay what is the worst sector and such like. so there's a lot of other things you know like uh, for example under the uh, healthcare let's say for example financial okay which is the best performing okay for the past one week or so okay like banks classified to banks insurance investment service uh, life insurance you know property insurance insurance broker etc okay. Can. this is under stock chart i posted the link in the uh, comment another one okay all right i'm not sure how many of you know it is actually the trade trading view heat map trading view you can just google like uh, trading view heat map okay all right so this is the stock heat map also pretty uh similar pretty similar okay but again you can see the uh some of the source out there what you want to see instead of smp you can go to the uh, russell 2000 Okay, for example, Russell 2000, edit load. I think don't have for the Russell 2000. Yeah, I think, yeah, I should have, but need some time to load. Okay, Russell 2000, uh, a lot of things, like, okay, so you can go through and play. Okay, S&P, uh, 500 index, okay, once again, you can sort by performance, you can sort by, you know, uh, volatility, you can sort by, you know, gap also. Okay, so there's, there's a lot of filter as well. Okay, all this, you can go and play around. So personally, I tend to use the stock charts because I'm really inside. Lah, okay. Can so these are the three sources that you can uh, use. Just type the letter number three in the comments. I I I think most of you guys are aware of this heat map, right? Okay. If this is something new to you, okay, just type letter N in the comments. Okay. So this is just a glance, okay. All right, but I view on what's happening in the market, okay. If you ask me whether I use the heat map to trade or not, okay, I don't really use it uh, to trade. Lah. Okay, can I can see that some of it are new. Okay, so I hope you guys can can uh, go for this uh, data source. Okay, stock chart, uh, trading view, and also uh, pin bits. Okay, so these are the ones that I mentioned already. Okay, so I also want to share with you some of the uh, case study. Okay. Case study that I mentioned, okay, for this uh coming week for the seasonal bondage insiders, okay, just to share with you guys, okay. So actually, I'm in the midst of preparing the seasonal bondage data for the second quarter, huh? okay. So I'm not sure how many how many of you hasn't subscribed, okay. But again, okay, uh, it seasonal data has proven to be something that has an issue, okay. Of course, you know it it is not a showing thing, okay. And actually, for the first one one and a half month okay uh i'm not doing so well okay because i'm gravitating more towards the uh bearish side so in fact okay if i look back if i actually look go and uh long or buy the bullish stocks uh, i will have made a lot of money also <laughs> but but the problem is okay i gravitating more towards the bearish data that, that's that's my personal issue okay it is not the seasonal advantage data that has the issue. Okay. And I need to bring important for those, maybe for those who don't know. But anyway, anyway, okay, 
So I'm preparing that. So I just want to share with you. So for actually for uh last week, okay, I mentioned uh quite a few stocks. So, so for for those who, who who don't know, okay, so uh I just, just go through the stocks first, uh, go through the stocks. First. So so I actually mentioned hey, where is it? It is uh over here, okay. Okay, so for those who are into seasonal advantage, okay, in seasonal advantage, uh, uh, how many of you actually enter into ES or BKH? ES is the ever source, okay, and also BKH. Just type in the comments. These are utilities. So last week, I actually mentioned to my insiders that, you know, hey, actually, uh, utilities are doing actually uh, not too bad, okay? So this is the ever source, okay? Can you see that, you know, at that point in time, this is, I mentioned on the 28th of uh, February, I mentioned during the uh, mid-week updates, okay? It's say, hey, you know, uh, there's a wash and wins pattern over there, you know, the market can might continue uh, to go higher. So this is Eversource Energy, this is a utility uh, company, okay? So uh, let me go back to this, okay? So this is Eversource ES. So you can see the ever source, you know, continue to go higher. Today also went higher. So you can see that, you know, it go higher, ping pong. So I already exited on this, okay? All right. And also on uh, BKH, this is the uh, Black Hills Corporation. Black Hills Corporation, okay? It went high today, but today is a bit red candle over there. Anybody enter, enter on ES or BKH? I'm sure some of you might enter, okay? Because we do have quite a number of seasonal funding insiders. <laughs> okay? All right. So continue to go higher all right and other one that i mentioned it is actually uh pgr pgr it is over here this is the finance okay financial company over there i first mentioned on the uh, 4th of march over there okay i said hey you know pgs is near the all-time high you know very good uptrend you know let's see where the price can go above the wash line or not so that was when i first uh mentioned so let's see how is pgr doing right now anybody enter into pgr or not Okay, so PGR, this is, if you enter into PGR, just type PGR. Ah, okay, you can see that Chai Sing entered the PGR, okay? So PGR, it is here, very good trade over there, okay? Very good trade over there. So I entered into PGR also, okay? All right, so this is very good, nice winning trade over there, okay? So, okay, so uh, MCD, MCD, um, yeah, I did enter, lah, okay? So because PGR was is very nice. MCD, I mentioned also, but not the nicest chart. Lah. So MCD, you know, okay, but I didn't enter, but it is still doing okay for MCD. This is the McDonald. Okay, a lot of people, not a lot of people. In fact, all of you should know <laughs> uh, McDonald. Okay, so these are the things that I mentioned to the uh, Seasonal Advantage Insiders, the SVI people. Uh, okay, and just to let you know, so I also, okay, also uh, share with them. Okay, so for example, Okay, uh, some of the master class that I mentioned. Okay, some new information. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so like this. Okay, this is the master class. Okay, so I teach them, you know, how to identify and avoid overextended stocks and strategically take profit. I understand that you know, uh, not all the time, you know, people use seasonal uh data. So some people, you guys might be, you know, uh, entering into Nvidia, okay, or SMCI or some of the position trading stocks okay so if the market it is in your favor how do you know when to take profit okay yeah people always say hey the market is overextended the market is overextended okay how overextended is overextended uh, this is i share with the members okay how to identify that okay so, so not only i shared uh just the seasonal advantage data and all this i also shared okay along the way i will share uh, new information okay that is outside of the seasonal data as well. So this is what you get in the, okay? All right, in the members area. Of course, that's the usual data I can download now for the seasonal advantage insiders, okay? All right, so this is the one and yeah, okay? So how many of you are still not SVI member? If you are not SVI member, can you just type SVI in the comments? A a anyway, okay, I know many of you here are SVI. So if you think that this masterclass, right, masterclass is good right okay just type mc in the comments just type mc in the comments 
Okay, if you have not subscribed to SVI, okay, just type SVI in the comments. If you think that this masterclass is cool, okay, the, the things that I share with you is very good, okay, just type MC in the comments. Cool, right? Okay. All right. So you know how exactly over a standard is over standard, and you should take profit along the way. Okay. Ah, uh, so can see now can see all the SVI people starting to comment. Uh. Okay, fantastic. So so uh, okay, last week, last week I also mentioned about crude oil. Okay, crude oil over there, crude oil. Uh. So if you guys remember, I mentioned crude oil for quite some time already. Okay, crude oil. Ah, okay, you see, crude oil. I first I first mentioned, okay, uh initially, okay, price go up, then at the start of the month, we uh March, right? That tends to have uh, some weakness. So the market, the crude oil actually, you know, started to come down already. Okay. And then okay, actually, uh, uh let me see whether I have the crude oil seasonal data for you. Okay. Okay, okay I have I have the chart for you, uh, okay. If you catch it, you catch it. Okay. So this is the crude oil seasonal data over 15 years. 15 years. Uh. So you can see that you know, after that, you know, price started to come down. Obviously, can you see my, my cursor? Okay. At the start, goes up. Okay, goes up. Start of March, right? Goes up, right? So this is exactly what is happening over there. This is this. I'm trying to do a vert vertical line. Okay. So this is March. Okay. Before that, it went higher a little bit really okay, went high really so that is that was where i shared that you know i entered via uh, uso as mentioned okay so then after that i actually exited over here uh, and then price started to come down so this was not the most profitable one i think profitable but in the end i decided to exit earlier so in hindsight okay it was a it was a good decision uh, okay so price actually started to come down but but okay what i'm gonna share with you guys is that you know your crude oil tends to bottom okay uh towards the mid of march okay the exact date okay it is somewhere around 18 of march okay for crude oil for crude oil okay bullish uh, it is somewhere around 18 of march uh, okay so okay right now we can see that okay crude oil okay it is actually hitting at the cpr okay somewhere around that okay and if you actually see that, okay, it has been above the CPR for uh, here, okay, second month, actually, it's, yeah, first month here, okay, first month, second month, third month, it is holding above the CPR for uh, three consecutive months. And if you actually add in the yearly pivot, uh, you can see that price, it is this black dotted line, okay, maybe too messy. So I remove everything over here. You can see the, can you guys see the black dotted line? This is the yearly central pivot range. Huh? You guys can see. Uh, so right now, price is above the CPR. Price is above the yearly pivot. Price is above the, uh, above the cloud. So all in all, crude oil is starting to look uh, bullish again. Uh, starting to look bullish again. Uh, okay. Again, whether in the future that will cause more inflation, that's another story. Okay, I'm not so keen on that because okay, uh, we worry about that because it's mainly meant for swing trading. Mainly swing trading. So I'm looking for opportunity to go long into crude oil. Okay, again, this data over here doesn't mean that exactly on the 18th of March you go up. It it is not like that, okay. You need you still need to watch the price as action plus minus la plus minus. Okay, we we will know, but what I'm trying to share with you is that okay, crude oil tends to bottom out at you know based on season data at the mid of March. Okay, plus minus la I repeat plus minus la don't say the hey, Alex say 18 of March are not exactly la okay, plus minus, plus minus. Okay, so you have to watch out for that and watch for the price action, huh? Based and Pauline said, I'm, I'm bullish on all for much like you could get supported. Yes, I'm also pretty bullish. Okay, so this is for the uh crude oil for crude oil, Hannah. And actually, for another one to share with you, let me see whether it got, got uh go or not. Go, I do not have it right now, but I also want to share with you the uh gold price. Huh? This is the gold, this is the gold uh spot price, gold spot price. Huh? Okay. It is actually looking like crypto, right? 
that Bitcoin just kept going higher, right? But the key thing is for gold, nobody talks about gold. People just talk about AI and the crypto. Of course, crypto, it went up a lot higher also, okay? Nobody talks about gold and it is now also at an all-time high. So this is the... So this is the monthly chart, uh, monthly chart uh, for gold. Uh. This is the spot price. Okay. So gold right now, it is at an all-time high for gold. Can you just type ATH in the comments uh, for gold? All-time high. All-time high. Uh. So the thing I want to share with you is that, okay, gold, based on seasonal data, gold also tends to bottom out uh, around the mid of March or so. Okay. Technically, technically, okay, at this point in time, gold supposed to come down, supposed to come down during this period, but it did not come down. It just kept going higher all the way. So let me try to find a gold equity clock. Okay. Gold equity clock. So can you see that March, March over there? Can you see over there? March, it tends to put on buy right, okay, towards the end of Feb to the start of much uh, it should come down but it did not come down and it tends to bottom at the march uh. so okay coupled with the fact that nobody talks about go uh, nobody talks about go okay i think okay i think just my personal view don't quote me i could be wrong i think there could be more upside okay on go in the coming months so from from at least from march to mid april or so okay from March to mid April, so, so I think there could be more upside. Again, okay, I'm not asking you like okay to buy right now, lah, Okay, right now just keep going higher. There's no pullback. It can be a, a little bit, you know, uh, too risky to buy. Your reward to risk ratio it is uh not that good. It is not that good. So I'm still bullish, but price need to have some uh, uh pullback, lah, pullback. Okay, at least then maybe I, I'm looking forward to to maybe uh go long again. Okay, and if you add in the usual indicator, okay. And also the uh yearly pivot. Okay, you can see that hey, there's there's no way I should be bearish on go one. Okay, so it is above the CPR, above the cloud, above the yearly pivot. So all in all, uh go it is in an uptrend. Okay, all right. I I, I see some question. Uh, I see some question. So uh let me let me go through the thing first. Uh, okay, let me go through the thing first. I will go through. Okay, anything else or not? Okay, this is for go. Okay, the key thing is repeat. Uh, the key thing is uh nobody is talking about gold <laughs> that's why i think there's more upside if everybody is talking about gold uh, then i think that you know uh, maybe upside maybe not much but nobody is talking about gold everybody is just talking about crypto 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 ai nvd smci uh, very quiet on gold okay so this is gold so let me see uh cynthia for the seasonal data yes it auto renew every quarter so it is uh I, I, cynthia are you already inside if you're already inside okay then you get it at the absolutely lowest price possible okay once you you, you are unsubscribe then you won't get it at that, that price really okay yeah every quarter okay so uh why lam is saying based on gold behavior does that imply us might start printing money so the, the honest answer is i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So, uh, if gold price is going up, then the dollar should be coming down. Okay, let me see the dollar. Yeah, the dollar is coming. In like it's looking weak right now. You can see that you know for the dollar, uh, it was coming down. Okay, pull back to the yearly CPR. It's not looking so strong right now. Okay, all right. Uh, in this case, if oil go up on second half, gold might ah uh, yes. Kelvin, oil and gold, uh, actually, in fact, for commodities, uh, I'm actually, uh, seems pretty bullish right now. As in, there's no way I should be bearish uh, because, you know, based on the trend, it is in an uptrend. It is just figuring out, okay, or wait for the opportunity to go to go inside. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, in the case, okay, gold may have more upside. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to convey. Uh, I think. Or I think there's some more room to go up go also some room to go up okay oil a better risk to reward ratio okay if you're asking me this question good question okay both can go up but which one would be a uh, uh, better so in fact i don't know okay so let's try that okay let's try crude oil futures versus uh gold futures let's do a ratio and see how it goes okay and then we decide all right 
So this is crude oil versus uh, gold. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so this is the ratio. Uh, this is the ratio. Uh, okay, oil versus gold. So based on the chart itself, which one do you think has more potential? Which one do you think has more potential? All right. If crude oil it is coming down, which means that gold is outperforming crude oil. Okay, gold is outperforming crude oil. Okay, if if this this if this chart is going higher, which means that okay, crude oil is outperforming gold, outperforming gold. Okay. So based on the chart that I'm seeing, it seems that okay, it's telling me that uh Crude, not crude oil, gold, gold, GC seems like a better reward to risk ratio because you know crude oil it is uh, uh, coming down, coming down. Okay, yeah, and if in the two day time frame, not this one, yeah, okay, it is also coming down. So, in fact, okay, based on the ratio, ratio chart, uh, gold seems to be a better uh, reward to risk uh, instrument to trade. And Darius is asking, right? Uh, impossible to enter now, not hitting any key level or trigger. Okay, so actually, there's there's uh so called no such thing as impossible to enter now because okay, you can chase it, but the key thing is it's not my style to chase it, lah. Okay, yeah, I mean that who 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 am I who am I to say that you know uh. Go cannot just you know continue like like crypto just boom 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 boom. It it can happen. Okay, it can happen. It is just that it is not my style to chase like that lah. Okay, so I prefer at least a, a, a consolidation. Okay, or, or, or some pullback lah. Okay, yeah. Okay, also can I Henry like close I just enter lah, but it's not my style lah. <laughs> I don't just close I just enter lah. So I I still need to wait for uh, for uh, some uh, trigger to enter. So uh. The trigger might not come or so or there could be just i don't know uh one or or, or two day of pullback that kind of three days at most then continue to go higher lah. but i will know so i won't be entering now definitely not now to me entering now is uh tmp you guys should know what tmp lah, ton of pie lah. okay <laughs> not my style not my style but I'm, of course you know who knows that you know or go can just just do a crypto like that. It, it could happen uh. so yeah just not my style okay i think i'm very lost okay enough on goal okay so yeah okay uh that's why right. any stock can just close and enter like okay it's, it's it's always in hindsight then we know that i yeah i should have entered nvidia earlier you know close eye and just buy like. but you know the reverse can happen correct right? nvidia can just uh, uh can just uh, collapse or not okay all right yeah, anyone can enter NVIDIA. That's right. Uh, can we, everyone can enter NVIDIA in high side. Uh, okay, just close up and buy. Uh, but what will happen if the reverse happen? Hey, anyway, anyway, uh, I'm nearing to the one hour mark. I'm just sure you are. Uh, okay, right now the market just kept going higher. Okay, uh, crypto today up 5%, just kept going higher. Okay, I, I, I know some of you might have the feeling of FOMO. Oh, yeah, should I just close up and buy crypto and, and such or buy stocks? Uh, the market just keep going higher it's like you know that every day i don't buy it the market just keep going higher okay i just need to remind you guys i think it is my job to tell you guys to uh manage your risk uh, don't for more it is it is very hard to it's easy to say uh, but hard hard to do uh, uh, oh, you know the market just going higher but again i want to go back to the market in 2020 2021, 2022. Okay. All right. So this was the time. Okay. After COVID, okay, the market just continue to go higher. Okay. At some point in time, towards towards the peak, uh, the people are saying that, wow, you know, uh, this time is different. Okay. You know, our uh, uh, value is dead. Okay. We should go for the growth company. Okay. We should buy all those super stocks. Okay. Uh, some talk about Alibaba and some of the, some of these things. Oh, I forget what's the stocks. I think like uh, Palantir, you know, C. C limited and all these stocks are. Huh? Did you remember? Do you remember that period of time? It is very wild. A lot of people, you know, FOMO got trapped at that point in time. You and you get you you buy is not here, you know. You buy is not here. It's not here. Not here. No, they they buy at the late stage. You know, they buy at the late stage. Huh? Ah, okay. 
when the market is very bullish, okay, just recall back that two years, three years ago, that kind of feeling, uh, okay, the crash, the correction, okay, the pullback will come, okay, uh, do you want to get trapped or not? Uh, that's the thing I'm going to share with you. Uh, okay. Again, it could be just a short crash. It could be a longer short crash. Nobody knows. But the key thing is that don't get trapped. Uh, okay. Don't get into FOMO. Recall back to the time where you lost money because you FOMO. Okay. Just recall back. And the time is actually not too long ago. Uh, okay. And also recall back on the crypto. Uh, on the crypto. Okay. Uh, close eye buy can. Close eye buy can. Okay. But recall back during that that. That time, okay, when people are very bullish on 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 crypto, okay, in near twenty twenty one, wow, go go, wow, buy 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 buy. If I don't buy, it's an idiot, okay. Ah, you know, just collapse all the way, and you know, people got track on the uh all coin and such. The reason is because I knew because I also went into that, okay. I also for more. I see people, wow, all time high, like, like wow, this time now is it different or not? All time high, not at that point in time, like, very near to all time high that kind of time, okay. Yeah. So I also go into load up into uh, uh some altcoin into exchange or put some trading some altcoin and all this. Uh then later did I realize that okay, that time when I put in my money to trade the altcoins, okay, that is I'm I'm somewhere around here. I'm somewhere around here already. I'm near the top already. I'm near the top already. Okay, yeah. So just be careful on that. Uh. again, you don't believe me. Uh, chose not to listen you think that the market is going to go up all the way that kind of thing or bitcoin go to 100k 200k that kind of thing you decide like and nobody's going to stop you like. i mean that you, you, the market will definitely have a correction eventually one it is just a matter of when and most of the time uh if you buy early it's okay the, the key thing is if you buy late and you got trapped huh? okay all right so even a chase can use cpr to chase and sell based on cpr so it means out less painful to see out for two months uh yeah, so that's the reason I, I told you you are having that FOMO feeling, okay? I, you know, sometimes it can be painful when you see that idiot out there, okay, is making more money than you. He's less smarter than you, but you know, because he he entered into some altcoin or on crypto, <laughs> he made a lot of money. I'm, I I I can understand that lah, but you know, uh, to me, you know, trading and investing is a personal game, okay? Don't go and compare to other people. It is, it is easy to say, okay, but hard to in reality hard to hard to do that because you see that a lot of people making a lot of money then you feel greedy you feel you know what uh, 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 envy uh, the keyword is envy you will feel envy how come that people that person is making so much money and here i am you know it's not making so much money okay i, I think that you know uh don't try to compare to other people okay just uh stick to your own strategy okay because based on my experience if you fomo and, and chase uh you won't end up uh, uh, so good uh, okay again my personal experience uh, it is easy to say how to execute uh, okay all right ken so far okay i'm going to add in on this uh, okay so uh hsi and hang Seng. just want somebody is asking about hsi is it who is asking about hsi i think i saw somebody asking hsi can you just uh key in your question again i can't see in the chat uh. anyway uh hsi and sti is practically uh uh sing uh, so what's the question on hsi okay uh, can, you, can you just key in again? Sorry about that. Uh, uh, there is so uh also the same mid March it tends to bottom out okay for, for HSI and STI. So I'll just add in the uh, chart over there. So HSI and this is EWS, this is SNCI uh Singapore Cap ETF, not STI, but pretty similar because they added in the C limited, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, oops. So this is the HR HSI. So you can see that you know um uh, based on seasonal for hsi it tends to go down lower hsi from mid february uh to the mid of march that's where it tends to bottom okay so the red pink line here is the the date right now the time right now as of now we are at the vertical pink line so we are very almost near the bottom based on the seasonal data so if you add, if you go to HSI, HSI over here, HSI, okay? HSI by right, okay, from the 
mid of March, right? Okay, it should go lower. Okay, but it didn't. Okay, price just continue to go higher. Okay, and we can see that actually, uh, last week, right? I said that it actually, uh, it was a good time to buy, but yes, but depending on context, like if you swing trade, you might get stop out. Okay, but if you do position trade, sh should still be fine because price it is supported at the CPR, very nicely supported at the CPR. Okay. Okay. Uh, one draw. Okay. And uh, today go up higher. Okay. Yeah. So price above the CPR for first month. Right now, uh, right now is still two consecutive months as of now, lah. Okay, as of now. So uh, and above the cloud. So potentially, I think there could be a a, a change of trend. And you know, if you really want to enter, okay, uh, we go with the seasonal trend. Okay, we go with the seasonal trend. So seasonal trend say that you know, at, uh, we are nearing towards the bottom for the over the past fifteen years. Okay. I think it's a good time for you want to go for a swing trade or position trade. I mean that, you know, towards the mid of March, okay, we are pretty near there. You could try for a long, okay, wait for, again, not just close eye buy, la. wait, you can wait for your trigger, your setup and such. If you want to close eye buy, uh, can I, you take the risk, la. okay, nobody's going to stop you, la. okay. And for the EWS, okay, this is the Singapore uh, Cap ETF, okay, MSCI ETF, okay. Uh, we are also somewhere near the bottom, okay, March. So for for H, for STI, uh, it is actually uh, weak right now. For STI, it is actually weak. Okay, so this is STI. You can see that, you know, STI is the most expensive. You know, for how many years, uh, just, you know, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong all the way. Uh. Okay, so this is HSI. But you can see that you know right now it is still below the cloud and below CPR. But you can see that based on the price action, okay, there is a uh, pin bar over here. As you guys know, right, I don't like shooting star. Okay, so and there's a potential wash and wins trigger. Okay, potential wash and wins trigger. So if price maybe within the next few days or so, price cannot go down lower and reverse back up. Ah, then this. Looks like a good trade to me. Okay, at least I think price can go to the CPR. At least, at least price can go to the to the paper point or so. Okay, so we are also based on seasonal data near the the uh uh swing low. Okay, based on seasonal data. Clear so far. If clear so far, okay, just type HSI in the comments. It is it is actually <coughs> more bullish now. I think it's more bullish now again. Coupled with the fact that it seems like you know the Chinese government, okay, CCP is trying to you know boost up, okay, uh, uh, uh their 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 stock market and such, uh. yeah. Understand so far? Just type HSI in the comments. HSI in the comments. Yeah, sleeping times index. Yeah, Wu Zhengqi. Ah, how how many? Years? <laughs> all the all the same. Ah, uh. anyway, anyway, so. Uh, in 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 summary, okay, what I'm trying to say that is that uh, based on some of the trade ideas that I share with you, again, this is just based on seasonal data. You still need to wait for price action, wait for your setup, wait for your trigger, whatever it is. Okay, you decide whether to go long. Okay, I'm not asking you to buy now. Don't close eye buy, but you know, go oil HSI STI. You know, uh, towards the mid of March they tend to uh, bottom out okay all right you know much huh? so these are the few things that i'm watching out okay all right good so far clear so far okay if you like this session please give me a like share and comments if you're watching this on youtube okay please subscribe to our youtube channel okay and also if you are watching this on facebook if you haven't followed or like our facebook page please give me a like and follow also Liking is free, doesn't cost you money. Give me a like, okay? And so I think any questions so far? Any questions so far before I end the session? Just nice one hour. Just nice one hour. Uh, today's market is pretty volatile. So just now the market go up, cover a bit. Now it's coming down again. It's coming down, down again. Okay? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Uh, I don't know. I, I see the chat. There's no response. I'm not sure whether something happened to the chat or what. Huh? Okay. Can you just type 
HSI or you have question, just type your question in the chat. So I'll just wait for maybe uh, 10 more seconds. If there are no question, I will just call it a day. Huh? Okay. And if you really enjoy the session today, you find value, okay, just type value in the uh, comments also. Just type value in the comments also. Okay. So give me a like, share, or, or comments. I really, really appreciate that. So once again, just a quick summary over there. So uh, this coming week, okay, I'm still trying to maintain the bullish stand. But whether it can really be bullish this week, nobody knows. But OPEX, it tends to go higher. So I try not to go against the trend, at least for this week. Next week, okay, I'm more uh, slightly bearish. Now, okay, so we'll see next week how it goes. Okay, Ken. So uh, with that, thank you so much for your time. Okay, and uh, for today and staying with me. I think recently Facebook screw up. Okay, don't know what happened. But anyway, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys uh, again uh, next week. Thank you. And bye-bye.